What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to easily make a flyer AI that will chase around. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, we have my uh, flyer you know, model itself with this animation here. I will be linking it in the description, it's totally free from Sketchfab, so you want to get the same one as me, go ahead. And then what to do is go into our third person character blueprint. So let's open up this over here. And what we're going to do is create a new camera boom like we use for the camera. And probably you're wondering why are we going to create a camera boom? Well, basically, we are going to be attaching our flyer into this new camera boom at the end. So first of all, we'll have the Lucian that is always attached at you know some distance from our player. And then with some fancy interpolation and smoothness and lurping, we can go ahead and make that our, you know, Basically, a flyer will kind of reach us in a smooth way, and it will seem that it's actually going ahead and you know, kind of flying towards us. So, let's go into our capsule component, you select it, and add a camera boom, which in this case is an arm length, a spring arm. Sorry, they changed the name already like two weeks. So, <laughs> all right, so now what we're gonna do is just add a skeleton mesh. This will be our bird or flyer, whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna be the one using the one that I imported, which is here. It's absolutely huge, so let me go ahead and just put this to be way smaller. Like, I like this. And then, uh, in my case, because I only have one animation, I'm gonna go ahead and just put use animation asset and use that animation. So it'll be always flying, there will be no idle state or whatsoever. It's gonna be very simple, okay? Uh, make sure that looping in plane is ticked, of course. All right, now in the spring arm, you can go ahead and play around with the arm length and so on. Uh, so I think that, you know, well, the, the camera is here, so uh, maybe like 250, uh, you can play with that. So if I were to now press play, you can see they have our flyer and would be always attached there, and which is very stiff, don't worry, we'll fix that in a second, but uh, let's just change the arm length and it to be only 100 or uh, something like that because it was very close to my camera, holy crap. Uh, also, let's make it way smaller, uh, maybe 0.1, uh, because yeah, it's, it's, it's way too, okay. That's a bit better, we can play around more with that. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and add this smoothness lerp interpolation. So it will be like actually flying. Uh, so let's go into a spring arm and you search for lag. And now what we can do is enable camera lag and enable camera rotation lag. As you can see, we have two values now over here. This will basically just make the movements more smoothed out. So it will take some time to travel from one point to another. So you can see now when I move, it will take time from my guy to travel. And it's way smoother. Now we can make it even smoother if we lower this value. So if I were to put here three and three, okay, you'll see that it will take much more time for my flyer to reach out. And it goes ahead and smoothly goes back in. So this is gonna be using. So let's change a bit the camera lag speed to be two and the rotation lag to be maybe no point uh, seven. Uh, with that said, it will be super smooth as you can see. And it's, it's like, it's follow me, you know, and, and with that really cool AI. But it's all an illusion, it's not actually really following me. Uh, so that's it guys, if you found this tutorial, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the private files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check that out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all that said, bye bye.